to election news tonight. Candidates for Vermont's top job, Phil Scott and David Zuckerman, faced off in the first of a series of debates this general election hosted by VPR and Vermont PBS. Local 22's Courtney Kramer has more. Thursday morning, the party's top candidates for governor had the chance to question one another on their policies and take questions from Vermont voters as many are preparing to mail in their ballots. Among the discussion was gun reform. Governor Phil Scott touted major gun legislation passed in 2018, but Zuckerman says he feels a 24-hour waiting period to buy handguns is crucial. I'm very concerned uh, in that we can prevent youth gun deaths, we can prevent individuals from committing suicide. We can protect women from domestic violence in the spur of the moment purchases and just ask people to cool off for 24 hours. The 24 hour uh, waiting period sounded like a good thing for some, uh, but I don't believe it'd be um, that practical in, in some respects and would disrupt what we're already doing. The two also debated about the climate change crisis. The incumbent feels that technology needs to catch up while Zuckerman feels bold actions are needed. A hot topic across the nation right now, racial injustice. You know, we've uh, significantly de decreased the population in prisons over the last year. Um, uh, we've reduced that to uh, about, uh, by about 350 at this point. Uh, we've in implemented a fair and impartial policing. Uh, I think that's important as well. We need to look at policies like Sarah Fair George is doing here in Chittenden County, where they are getting rid of cash bail. We've had a systemic economic policy in this country that has made it so our black and brown brothers and sisters don't have as much resources to, to pay those sorts of bail. The candidates both left voters with a few final words as people will have to decide whether to vote for consistency or change. And I think my team, my team is the key here, has proven itself with me at the wheel. As we move forward, I'll continue to focus on the three priorities that have guided my administration since the very beginning. Growing the economy, making the more affordable, and protecting the most vulnerable. Whether it's growing food or building opportunities for Vermonters, we need to use the resources we have to both address today's concerns and tomorrow's needs. As governor, I will ensure Vermonters are taking home more pay and have affordable housing. Next week, it will be the lieutenant governor candidates' turn, Scott Milne and Molly Gray. Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.